So how are we looking? Good so far. The timeline is starting to balance out. So the timeline is back on track? Yes. I think we should visit somewhere, take our mind off this for a bit. Why? There is so much more work to be done. We've been based in this temporal zone for too long. A void between our space-time. Robert, you explained that you are a remnant from a collapsed timeline. By your reasoning, anywhere you appear will cause a disturbance. What about- Don't say it. I know what you're about to say. What's that then? About how when time goes wrong, you are always the first to show up. Well, yes. That's in a moment of crisis. This is different. This is how I met you, Robert. Trying to find a home in a timeline that you didn't belong. I can't exactly go anywhere else now, can I? No. That's why we work together and are based out in the temporal zone. What's that? A small temporal shockwave originating in 2017. Something is changing. 2017? Can't be. What is it? Ah, it's not that small. Control. The timeline is changing again. The cataclysm has begun on Earth. But we... we stopped it. It appears that something else has happened that has changed that outcome. We have to go there. We can, not now. The data shows a biochemical contingent and a huge EMP waves. If we were to go down there, we could strand ourselves in that time. And if we stay here and do nothing? There's no telling, but we cannot take the risk. The temporal zone is collapsing. We have to do something. Robert, stop. Control! Synthesis B-17GM Alpha now! Just what I need. William, don't stop me. This event is too big for you to take on alone. I don't know what you're planning on doing, but that one sting shot will not help you. I know what I'm doing! No, you seriously don't! I'm sorry. Robert! I'm here. But it seems so quiet. Damn it. I need to get in there. Jensen? Aaron! Come on, stay with me. We still have so much work to do. You and me. Come on! Uh -huh. Aaron! Aaron! What the hell? Stand back. I can save him. Ugh. No, wait. You've got a modulator. It's going to... Ah. Ugh. Jason! Shit. Aaron, I'm here to save you. I'm sorry. It'll hurt, but you'll be alive. <coughs> Through this, Aaron, I promise. Stand. Let me. What happened? Why are you here? I came back to save you. I think... I think I'm hurt badly. I've given you a special stem shot. It'll repair any damaged internal tissue, especially your nervous system over the next few days. Alright. Wait. What did you give to me? Medicine from the future, Aaron. Don't think too much about it. I'm so stupid. What? My dimensional modulator. 
It's fried. Can we fix it? A second EMP? That wasn't meant to happen. According to history, 3.5 billion people died in the cataclysm and all technology was wiped at the same time by a huge EMP. I'm now stranded in this time. I'm sorry, Robert. Don't be. It was my decision and mine alone. Oh my god, Jason. Where's Jason? He's behind the sofa. Unconscious. What happened? The second EMP hit my dimensional modulator and fried the containment circuits of the embedded microgram of a time crystal. It then became unstable and the resulting shockwave was absorbed by Jason. Is he gonna be okay? We need to talk in private. But what about Jason? He'll recover, but we don't have long, come on. There you go. Sit there, I'll get you some water. So water's working then? For now, the major water systems will have been knocked out, but what made it through will still be available. Drink. You need to stay hydrated. Thank you, Robert. Now, to business. What? Hasn't the world just ended? And now he can fix it. I need you to go ASAP. But what about Jason? I'll look after him. But he's my friend. Exposure, let alone absorption of the time crystal energy, will cause long-term amnesia with a few moments before and after exposure. I think I'm gonna need something stronger than water for this conversation. No alcohol for ten days after the stem shot. I was joking, Robert. Ah, I see. What's your plan to rebuild the world then? This mission needs to be a secret. Minimal people can know. Why? Because I'm a time traveler. I've been working with someone to monitor the timeline and me coming back here has disturbed it. Because you saved me. Exactly. Your survival must be kept a secret. The second EMP was... That's a theory for another time. And I've got to play dead. I know where you need to go. And what you need to do. <sighs> Which is? The Thorncorp Vault. There are rumours and legends about the information within. What legends? Well, I know it's discovered... I can't remember when, but it holds the key to the future survival of the human race. I can't. Why not? I'm just a hacker. No, you're not. Not to me. You reminded me of my humanity when I had none. Now, the whole of humanity is in the balance. I need your help. But with everything wiped out, people, technology, the world will fall apart. Which is why I'm trusting you to hold it all together. I... I... Please, Aaron. I'll give you everything you need. <sighs> Fine. I've never seen it so quiet. Oh, God. I forgot about the smell sometimes. <coughs> anyway, a Thorncorp HQ. What's left of it, that is. Three days of walking to Malton. And now I'm finally here. Who are you? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. Are you looking for a home too? I suppose so. I was told that this place was the future. Depends on your point of view. You know it's dangerous being here. This building could probably collapse at any moment. What did you want, exactly? I'm looking for a bunker. I imagine it's under the building. Who are you? My name's Aaron. Aaron Thompson. 
How about you? Connor. Nice to meet you. Do you know about a bunker? I think I might. Follow me. Quickly, quickly. <coughs> oh, God. Oh. I'm sorry about the bodies. They're old friends. People who died during the event. Apparently it's called the Cataclysm. That's one way of summing it up. What's that? Oh, yes. That's what I wanted to show you. It's a number pad. Yeah, but it's still working. The light's on. The only light that works in the entire building. But it needs a code. Whoa! How the hell did you do that? I'm not here by accident, Connor. This appears to be a lift. Want to see what's downstairs? All right. Electricity. How is this possible? This is the Thorncorp vault. This is what Robert meant. The key to the future. So you knew about this, Robert? I had heard rumours. Legends, you said? Yes. Where were you for the past six months? Rebuilding the world, Robert. Like you asked me to. But that's not what you meant, was it? Don't test me, Aaron. Guys, stop arguing. This isn't going to get us anywhere. So, Aaron, why are you called the Authenticator? It's a running joke by Connor, ever since we gained access to this place. I'm the only one who knows the true story. So you're redocumenting history? How is that possible? We have a record. A paper record of everything. I'm guessing this is what all of this paper is? Correct. It's information of everything Thorncorp and Alex Thorne ever did. Transcripts of meetings, even between Thorn and the grid mainframe themselves. You've got financial records, staff records, all of it. But why? This was Thorn's personal place. There is no trace of the grid mainframe here. That system was cut off down here. So Thorn was plotting against the grid mainframe? There's no way of telling now. There's too much information to compile first. How much information exactly? All of it, Robert. This isn't restricted to just Thorncorp. It's the deal that John Sparrow's government made with Thorn, and everything beforehand. I don't get this. We've also discovered that John Sparrow had dealings with the grid mainframe. Effectively, the mainframe played them both to create the new world order it was originally programmed to undertake. Just when I thought the backstory couldn't get more complicated. Is there anything else you've found of significance? Harriet, could you please leave the room? Need to have a private word with Robert. Why? It will be clear later, I promise. We shouldn't keep secrets. I promise you will know. Connor needs help sorting the next food and water rations for the community. Would you be able to help him? Go on, Harriet. <sighs> Fine. find it? Of course I did. When you asked me if I found anything significant, did you mean like this? So the legends were true. You have found it. So you do understand what this is? Of course. It's the raw source code of the grid mainframe. Is that the whole code? This wasn't about saving the world at all, was it? It was just about you saving yourself. I knew that it would take 10 years for you all to find this place. I've helped accelerate the process. But changing the timeline and keeping me alive? Well, yes. So you've brought me back from the dead to do your dirty work. Why? I didn't want you to die. That I can believe, but for what reason? Was it because you actually cared or because you couldn't be bothered to do it yourself? How dare you? Don't even try it, Robert. We're the people's government. You'll become public enemy number one if you harm me. You know what happened to me, what Crimson did. He wiped up my entire life. I know that. 
But this source code is nothing. It won't be for years. You're lying. Do you think the grid mainframe became powerful overnight? It studied and manipulated the human race for 70 years by spreading through our technology. Then why would Thorn have it? Maybe he wanted to replace the grid mainframe. Who knows? We know how the mainframe can easily betray those it serves. We already have very basic computer systems here, but we checked. There are no traces of the mainframe here. How is this all sustainable? We found that that bunker is powered by a few large generators. Stacks upon stacks of canned food. Like it was a fallout shelter. I suppose that's what this place was intended for. We ration the food out to nearby communities. We don't know when normal supply chains will be back in place again. Rachel and her government seemed clueless. How much have you got left? Enough to last us another year or two. But even then, that's getting lower. More mouths to feed. More people struggling. Well, we have our own food supplies at the Quinton Technologies building. They still had old-fashioned kitchen appliances, which meant we were able to cook the food. Well, that's alright for some. We could bring those supplies here, and I have a friend who works on a farm growing crops for the local community. We can help. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You might just be the person we've needed to help us. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm happy to help. I know why you want this, Robert. It won't work. How do you know that? The future is always changing. What could you do to find your girlfriend again, especially after everything that's happened? I'm a remnant of a collapsed timeline, Aaron. I have no past, no present, and no future. We can change that. No. There's a man called William. He's from the 100th century. He has a ship that can travel in time. He found me shortly after we stopped Quentin Technologies. I was made to stay in a temporal zone and only assist on missions that required the correction of time. He's explained that with every change makes a new timeline, but there are ways to access those previous events. Like Earthcourt with Jason, you mean? Exactly. But I need to get to him to have any chance of doing that. I didn't ask for this, Aaron. Doing that would only cause more danger to ourselves. No, it wouldn't. Do you think I haven't been watching, Robert? Thorn was monitoring everything. I know everything that's happened. The Earthcourt breaches are all gone, closed manually. Yes, no, I saw to that. I did my research. I know what those breaches were doing, and in order for you to slip into another timeline, you'd have to do the same thing. I'm sorry, Robert, but like you've said, changing the timeline only leads to more danger. Aaron, wait. Please, reconsider. I really need your help. Aaron, I loved her more than anyone can know. I've struggled to move on. I understand, Robert. That pain is something I've felt in my life. This code, its very existence is a danger to this timeline. No. The grid mainframe was able to cripple us so easily as it couldn't create its new world order as it saw fit. It might be the original source code, but it would be rife with Nazi ideologies. I can't take that risk again. Give it to me. I need it, Aaron. No. What are you doing? No. I have to keep us safe. I'll kill you for this. Well, say something. What else is there to say, Robert? According to you, I'm already dead. I... I... I needed to be whole again. I know, Robert. I know. Prime Minister. The emergency powers are due to expire. A general election will need to be called. It's too soon. Under the Civil Contingencies Act 2016, the people have their say on who rebuilds the nation. Oh, is there any room for a slight delay? 
As you know, there are no current heirs to the throne, and as general of Her Majesty's armed forces, I am the de facto representative of the sovereign. Mm, I see. Well, if we must call for an election, then it's what must be done. I shall prepare a speech for you, Rachel. Thank you, Sarah. I'd like to make it outside Parliament Square. Very good. I will arrange a security detail for that event. Now, I must head back to my duties. Very well, General. Thank you. George, what do you make of that? It's worrying, Prime Minister. Home Secretary, I would like a private word with the Civil Defence Minister, please. Of course. It's not ideal. It's not, but if we aim to prepare a strong campaign, I think the people will see who you really are. That's very sweet, George, but that is not exactly what I'm considering. Oh? Our government must hold on to power. I agree. By any means necessary. What do you mean? I need you to come up with a way to rig the election. Rachel, could you please repeat what you're, you're asking me to do? George, I need you to rig the election. <laughs>